Have you ever watched an athlete that was so good and so dominant in their event that you literally knew beyond any doubt that they would take the victory? This phenomenon does happen on occasion, where someone has such an upper hand on their competition that winning is all but a guarantee. But true dominance, the literal owning of all of the aura, is actually quite rare. Probably the best examples of this in history include the special athletes who have the longest winning streak in modern athletics history. There was Pavo Normi, the flying Finn in the early 1900s, who managed to win a staggering 121 straight races over distances ranging from the 800 meters up to the marathon. Another athlete that we have to mention here is Edwin Moses from the United States over the 400 meter hurdles, who from 1977 through 1987 won 122 straight races in this event, breaking the world record multiple times, winning various world championships, and even two Olympic golds. And lastly, the lesser known athlete who actually owns the longest winning streak in all of track and field history is Yolanda Balas from Romania, who from 1957 through 1966 managed to win 154 straight competitions in the women's high jump, absolutely dominating this event for one entire decade. Seeing an athlete at the highest level win time after time, year after year, is just something that does not happen very often. But don't tell that to Sydney McLachlan Lavrone from the US, because right now, she is doing things that we never imagined would be possible just a few years ago. Owning her event over anyone else in the world, breaking five world records over the course of just three years, and setting the current standard of dominance in the modern realm of sport. Sydney is fast, faster than most people could ever even imagine, and seeing her winning streak in the 400 hurdles proves this beyond any doubt. Because right now, she officially has not lost in five straight years. And while her previous few seasons have already garnered her the title as the women's 400 hurdles GOAT, what she just did in this year's Olympic Games is actually significantly crazier than most people even realize. In the 400 meter finals in this year's Paris Olympic Games, McLaughlin Lavroni achieved a time of 50.37 seconds, breaking her own world record and winning this year's Olympic finals by a second and a half. This was one of the biggest margins of victory in the history of this event. In fact, it's the biggest margin of victory in well over four decades in the Olympic final here. But what's also historic about this run is that this time scored a total of 1,322 points on the World Athletics Scoring Table, which, for those of you who don't know, comes from a mathematical calculation which looks at how elite an athletics moment truly was. Now for this scoring scale, it starts at one point, which represents the slowest possible time and it goes all the way up to 1400 points, which represents the theoretical fastest time possible. If you ever see a score above 1300, you are looking at an all-time performance. But believe it or not, this 1322 point score is the highest track score ever achieved by a female athlete in history, scoring higher than Florence Griffith Joyner's 100 world record, it's higher than her 200 world record, it scored higher than the 400 and 800 meter world records, which date all the way back to the mid-1980s, and even though this isn't technically a track event, it also scored higher than Tigis Decefa's marathon world record from 2023, where she ran a time of 2 hours, 11 minutes, and 53 seconds, and scored a total of 1,318 points. And this was one of those performances that truly shook the running world. But believe it or not, McLaughlin Lavroni's time even outperformed this. It is truly unbelievable analyzing just how fast McLaughlin Lavroni's world record time truly was. But despite this single performance captivating the entire world, she also set another record in the Olympics that technically was also a world record in a sense. In the women's 4x400 meter relay, the United States women came away with a massive win in this final, achieving a time of 3 minutes 15.27 seconds. This time is now the second fastest 4x4 relay of all time on the women's side, only falling behind the Soviet Union's time from all the way back in 1988 in the Seoul Olympics. And speaking of this world record that has now stood for more than three decades, this relay race holds a special piece as to why McLaughlin Lavroni's race was so special, but we'll get back to that in just a moment. Now for this gold medal relay race, Shamir Little, McLaughlin Lavrone, Gabby Thomas, and Alexis Holmes averaged split times of 48.81 seconds for this new American record. This time was undeniably special and it earned the US a victory by more than 4 seconds in this final. 
But specifically focusing on McLaughlin Lavrone for a second, she ran the fastest split time of the day at 47.71 seconds, which incredibly was actually more than a second faster than anyone else on this United States team. Now, 47.71 seconds is motoring, and on the all-time list of 4x4 relay splits on the women's side, it is actually the third fastest split ever recorded. But if we do a little bit of digging here, we can see that the only times in history that were ever faster than McLaughlin Lavroni's time were actually achieved on anchor legs. And these times were achieved by Marita Koch in 1984, and also by Yarmila Klatokvilova in 1982. Now, for this reported fastest split of all time, it goes all the way back to 1982 in the European Championships in Athens, Greece, where Kratokvilova ran a final 400 meter split of 47.6 seconds. And incredibly, we actually have footage of this very race. Now, on this relay leg, Kratokvilova was insanely far behind the leader here. And the only reason that she didn't make up more ground on the eventual winner here is because the eventual winner was in fact Marita Koch, who ran a final split time of 47.9 seconds. Either way, this final split time was historically fast, and Kratokvilova took her team from third to second. And it also is important to showcase once again that this was an anchor leg, so she ran through the tape upon reaching the finish. Now, these reported split times have been highly contested over the past few decades because of, well, reasons. But regardless of what actually happened now more than three decades in the past, McLaughlin Lavrone's time is special because it was right there with the greatest split times ever recorded and it was actually the second leg split. Now for the second leg, an athlete still has to worry about the baton exchange upon finishing their run and versus the final split where an athlete can sprint through the tape, this is considered to slow down an athlete by a few tenths of a second. Right now, McLaughlin Lavrone's second leg split is actually the fastest recorded second leg split in women's 4x4 history, now improving on the previous fastest second leg that comes from none other than the 1988 Olympic Finals, aka the race that is currently the world record, and for this second leg, Olga Nazarova ran a second leg split time of 47.82. This makes McLaughlin Lavrone and Nazarova the only two athletes to ever run under 48 seconds for their second legs. And considering that McLaughlin Lavrone has been mostly focused on the 400 meter hurdles this season, makes her performance that much more impressive. It's also very interesting to note that the only two athletes to ever run faster than McLaughlin Lavrone are currently the two world record holders in the 400 and the 800 meters. So potentially, if McLaughlin Lavrone is truly interested in the 400 meters in 2025, like she was in 2023, perhaps she could officially break the world record in this event that has stood since 1985 at 47.6. If all of this wasn't already crazy enough, McLaughlin also went undefeated this season over the 400 meters, the 200 meters, the 4x4 relay, and of course the 400 meter hurdles. One of the greatest stretches in undefeated running that we saw this season. As of the making of this video, McLaughlin Lavrone's winning streak in the 400 hurdles stands at 22 straight races, and she hasn't lost in this event since 2019. So, potentially, if she continues to run with so much dominance and so much historic abilities, maybe she could keep her winning streak alive for as long as Edwin Moses, who went undefeated in his event for 9 years, 9 months, and 9 days. And now I want to hear from all of you. What do you think about Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone's Olympic Games this season in the 4x4 relay and the 400 hurdles? And also, leave your predictions down below on what you think she will do come 2025. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.